Good morning, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Today is December 12th, I believe. I hope I'm correct when I say that. 2022. It is Monday. Uh, just so those of you that want to know, I will be live streaming tonight at uh, 8 p.m. for my hardcore preppers. If you would like to join us for that chat, uh, that's going to be happening uh, at 8 p.m. And to be part of that, if you go to my main page on uh, YouTube here, you'll see a join button. And with the join button, you'll see, uh, you know, the membership levels. If you become a hardcore prepper, you can join us in that chat. All right, so we're going to take a walk down here. And I am going to show you uh, the progress that got done on Mark's cabin this weekend. So we're going to take a walk and uh, Mark did stay in the cabin last night and so it was very very wet <laughs> this weekend uh, I, it didn't rain but the ground had already been saturated with all the rain that we had gotten so All right. So you can see from this angle, uh, the roof is on completely. Ridge cap is on as well. Uh, Mark really worked his butt off on this this weekend to get this building dried in. And so we're gonna take a walk down here. I will tell you this, I'm sore, I'm tired <laughs> from the weekend. All right. So, you can see from this angle here, the roof is on. Uh, Mark did start putting the trim on the outside there on that corner that you can see. And he got the trim on the other corner. Uh, he underneath here he also finished tying everything underneath so we'll look under here first and I will show you that so cross bracing underneath here is now all on so he put that everywhere underneath as you can see what he's gonna do eventually he will box this lower part in and uh, utilize it for storage but uh, so we're gonna we'll come out on this side here real quick. All right, girl. Oh, you really can't tell from that side. <laughs> I was gonna say let's look up over here, but this is our view over here, guys. So you really can't see it. Um, all right, we'll go up over here. All right, so he put his stairs in. Uh, what he's gonna end up doing, got the block here and the block here, he's gonna dig out underneath, set that underneath there for the stairs. And so, come on, Hella. All right, come on, girl, there it go. All right, so, stop. All right, so in here he's got the rest of his trim pieces that he will be putting on outside. Uh, he did start to put insulation in here. Now the floor in here, just so you guys kind of get an idea, this was wet from where my boot is. This way the whole thing was wet. And he had this heater, propane heater, obviously, tank in there that he was using in here. And uh, it dried out quite a bit of the floor. This is an old wood stove uh, that his grandfather used in a cabin back in the day. It actually looks really, really cool. I'll show you the design on that side. And then the design on that side. So uh, eventually, this is going to be hooked up in here. Uh, obviously, he's going to get uh, cement board, fire brick, something along the back wall for that. Uh, Everything's got to get tied in yet. You know, he's got to get up in there. And I'll show you um, as we go. But he, um, 
he did get you know some insulation in here uh, he plans on for this corner because that's where the wood stove is going to go well actually what i was telling him he should put the wood stove right here between the two windows and in that way he'd have that opened up and that opened up and it would be more centralized so he may end up uh putting the wood stove over here because he was thinking this wall but if i think i think if he put it in here it would be better and that was just kind of my advice to him and i mean he can do whatever he wants you know but uh yeah so he got all of the rest of this um tied in on top so on these ones they're farther apart okay you can kind of see and then up here he's got them closer together and the reason that he did that is he wants to uh, he'll op he'll cut out like probably this one here have an opening so that he can utilize up on top for storage and so he wants to use that part over here and this part over here uh, for storage which is a really good idea because you can store a lot of stuff in that area uh, he will be insulating the roof as well and uh, he's got a tie in and i'll show you this out here underneath here he's got to tie all that in and that's not going to take him long to do that and uh, you know it's gonna like i said he he did a tremendous tremendous amount of work this weekend uh, on this just getting the roof on here getting the rest of these in here that was a lot of work and uh, it was it, it was a, a long weekend for everyone um, he's still got a and you can see around the windows he's got to get those squared away and again you know like i said it's uh it's just a matter of of getting things taken care of but he got a really good start on it uh when he comes down next month at least he has an area now that's not going to be wet on the inside uh it's going to get a chance this will dry up on its own a lot of it will because now it's not going to get that moisture coming in here but uh i think he did a fantastic job Close that up as much as we can. All right, so I'll show you. He's got the trim. On this corner as well. So he still has, you know, to do the trim on the other corners and everything. But, uh, yeah, you know, really good, good amount of progress. Uh, this build, and we'll come back up over here. And we'll turn around and look at it from this angle. Uh, this build to this point has been, and there you can see the roof really well, taking three three of our get-togethers uh, from getting it the post dug, getting them concreted in, to, you know, getting the deck on. Uh, he did a lot of prefab back at his home with the walls and getting the windows and everything in there like that. Getting them on, then, you know, getting he made all the gables and everything at home. Uh, and then he brought that all down and so how much does he have into it right so that that was a, a question a lot of people have uh, a little over five thousand dollars is what he did uh, as far as you know everything with this uh, the siding is t111 you know it obviously has the metal roof on there and i think it looks it's going to be sharp i mean I, I i like the uh you know he he's the trim is matching the green roof and i think that's really cool uh he will be working on this i am sure for a long time you know getting it uh exactly the way that he wants to have it done and uh, but it's it's been a good project uh very productive and uh you know it's just uh you know and, and like i said so he had um you know danny slept in there as well uh this last time and you know we're at the point of the year you know where you know outside tent camping is really not a whole lot of fun and very conducive so he he did say uh that it was actually warmer in there even though it's pretty much still wide open uh than it was outside but they did have the heater on and that did help but uh you know he was pretty excited and he was really happy to be sleeping inside the building instead of in a car and so but it was like i said it just uh, it what people i think a lot of people don't understand is is these type of things first of all he asked if he could have this spot and use this spot right so let me come out here and i'll turn around so i said 
yeah, you want, you want to build here? And he was like, yeah. And I said, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I'm going to do, you know, a, a 12 by 16. And I said, all right. So, you know, that's what he did here. And uh, you have to have that vision. You have to see it in your head of what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. And, uh, you know, he got at it and uh, he's made this happen. And uh, like I said, a lot of work, a lot of work, but, uh, you know, now he has a place that he can come down here. He can, uh, you know, he'll, like I said, there's still a lot more work to do uh, to get it where he can get in there and really be warm. <laughs> so I'm sure that like, you know, next get together, you know, he's going to be in here buttoning it up more so that when he does turn the heater on in there that the heat stays in the cabin itself but uh it's it's really nice i think uh you know we'll walk down here a little bit and we'll look at it from another angle but it's got you know so it's, it's got a good view and uh but yeah like i said just it's 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 been a lot of work and i think he's done a fantastic job and uh and there we are. But uh, so we'll walk back up here. <clears throat> Good job this weekend. Uh, you know, Johnson was helping him and, uh, you know, getting things going that way. And so very productive. I'm glad it's not raining. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but... Yeah, so we'll walk over this way and we'll look at it from here again. So there it is. A lot of work done. Uh, he has, obviously, uh, it's going to take him a while because he's got to save up the money to get the wall kit for the wood stove and get that in there. But there we are. That's uh, the progress on the cabin. And so it is dried in now, which is a good thing. So obviously no more weather is going to get on the inside. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's got the rope still up there tied up underneath because he has more work that he wants to do, like, up underneath. And so he's going to, you know, utilize the rope with the safety harness and all that type of stuff. So really smart the way he did everything. And I just, you know... Good job, Mark, and uh, thank you again for Johnson for, you know, giving him a hand this weekend. And, uh, you know, it's all progress. It's all going towards getting himself in a situation that... So what, what people need to understand is SHTF happens, folks. You know, where are you going to go? Where are you going to stay? So he wanted to have something not... so. And let's say, S well, Ed, what happens if SHTH doesn't happen, right? F -A -Yeah. SHTF doesn't happen. What happens then? Well, he's got a little cabin down here. He didn't come down on the weekends when he wants to come down. He wants to bring the wife and the son down and hang out for the weekend. He's more than welcome to do it at any time. It's a getaway, you know? How many people can say, yeah, you know, I got a buddy of mine and, you know, I go down to his place and I got a little cabin there and I can hang out for the weekend and just enjoy nature and get away, you know? So it's not always about gloom and doom. It's about being ready for whatever's going to happen, having some place that you can run to, some place that you can have supplies in that you're not having to worry about. Because one of the things that would be always, was always my concern uh, when I lived in uh, Greece, New York, and I had my, you know, location at my other place, I was thinking, if we had to get out of Dodge in a hurry, we're getting one car load each. And with not being able to take all of my supplies, you know, down to where I wanted to be, that kind of sucked. But with the way, you know, if you have a place on site that's secure and you can get in there and you can do what you got to do, and you have supplies on site, you just got to get there. So even if you had to come on foot, you would know, okay, you know, it may take us a while to get there, and we'll walk or whatever, but when we get there, we have some place to go, we have supplies on hand, and, and those type of things. And that's what it's all about, folks. Anyway, I am going to jump off here for now. I will be doing another video later for you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope your weekend was good. But I uh, wanted to do one last update on what has happened with the cabin, and it looks fantastic. All right.
I will talk to you all later. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.